My name is Evan Lovett. I'm a professional artist and muralist, and I'm from Philadelphia. I'm at the Franklin Institute because they commissioned me to paint a new mural to replace the 16-year-old mural outside of the planetarium. Working at the Franklin Institute the last few days has been pretty amazing. Growing up outside of Philadelphia, most of my childhood Philadelphia memories are coming to the Franklin Institute. To be able to paint a permanent installation as an artist is amazing in a facility like this, but also as the inner child in me wanting to run around this museum and see all the things, knowing that my mural will be there for other kids to, to enjoy and adults. It's pretty powerful and I'm humbled by, by the opportunity to paint such a mural here. My name is Frank Chappelle, I'm from Northeast Philadelphia. I'm a muralist and an artist here in the city. I'm here at the Franklin Institute to assist Evan Lovett on his project outside the planetarium. To work here at the Franklin Institute is kind of mind-blowing to me. Uh, growing up here in Philly, like I can't imagine the amount of times that I frequent here with friends and family. And um, I'm here with a new family now, like my paint family, putting our love here on display. The design that I came up with for the Franklin Institute is an outer space design painted on the outside of the planetarium. We went with a simple design that was still dynamic and bold. The foreground is of an astronaut with the International Space Station reflected in its mask. In the background behind this astronaut is a sunrise over what's assumed to be Earth and then lots of just space stuff and stars. On the opposing wall on the other side of the doors, as the hallway curves, I painted nebula that can be seen in other parts of this museum as well, and then just continued that space dust. We wanted to keep it simple, but still be interesting, and hopefully the end result of this design is enjoyable for everyone who's come to see it. One of the most amazing parts about working on this project is the fact that NASA was right there hand in hand with the Franklin Institute to provide amazing reference. Reference that me and my team used to create the foreground and background of this project. Uh, we got different perspectives and different photographs to kind of compile a composition that makes sense and is visually appealing to people walking through, especially a wall curved that way to read is really hard face first, but it's even more difficult to paint something at that scale. When working on any project, we always run into some challenges. For this particular project, I think the greatest challenge that came was getting the curve of the earth to compensate for the curve of the wall. Painting this mural outside of the planetarium, the wall is completely curved around the hallway. So getting those two spheres that kind of line up was very challenging. I ended up painting it like three times because I just wasn't satisfied. One of the most challenging parts on this project for me was probably the setup and the preparation. Like uh, when you're working outside, you can throw some drop cloths down on some top of grass. It's pretty easy, but when you have to tape off marble that is older than you and probably older than your parents, it can be a little nerve wracking because you don't want to get a smudge on it. Um, but we still did well with that. Uh, another part that was kind of difficult for me was uh, the hours putting in, used to painting during the day for the most part. Um, some nights, sometimes it gets dark, but having this be a night job was definitely, took me out of my element when it comes to painting, but it was still awesome. As a mural artist, most of my work primarily focuses on environmental issues and animals. It's fun to creatively try to personify these animals in a way that expresses a little bit of emotion. The challenge with this particular design is how do I have an astronaut that you can't see in space project an emotion? So I kind of tried to make it a little more dynamic with using dual light sources to make it interactive. And one of the things that I'm really hoping that with in this environment, a museum usually full of kids, is that they'll want to interact with the mural. With the completion of this project, there's a few things that I hope happens. 
One, I hope that every visitor that comes here is just wowed by it, that's moved with both the depth of field that we accomplish with the space and the foreground astronaut. And I hope that the kids that come here are just floored by it. But another impact that I hope that this mural and project has is that other institutions continue to support its local artists in having hand-painted murals adorn the walls. Something that's dynamic and bold, and not just another printed graphic, has an amazing effect that I'd like to see more of, I'd like to do more of. And that's something that, that I hope happens. I hope that this project can impact not only this museum, but the city in many ways. Um, like I said, I came going to this museum my entire life and I saw all the changes, all the new exhibits, I was always there. And um, seeing, you know, a bunch of local dudes coming into the Franklin Institute and putting their spin and their artistic abilities to the test and pushing themselves to get somewhere that they haven't been before, I feel like I really, really hope that they can get the recognition, that we can get the recognition as artists, as upcoming artists, and whether we paint more in here, awesome. Whether people see this and see the skills that we have and are ready for that change, that new, fresh look of murals that we can give to this city, I, that's the biggest thing I can hope for.